Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we will be using the Finding Inner Peace inspiration cards along with the Vagabond Wild Tarot to get you two card combos to choose from for your message. So we'll start with the Finding Inner Peace inspiration cards and hopefully you are tuning in to your intuition to ask which card combo is going to direct me today in the highest alignment. What message do I need to hear? Thank you. There's one. Okay. And let's add some tarot cards to these. Okay, and I'll set those. All right, card combo one for you or card combo two. Once you have made your intuitive selection, scroll on down to the description and click on the timestamp next to the card combo that you have chosen and that will send you right to your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here for your message. So let's take a look at your finding in a inner peace card here first. Ooh, number two and letting go. Now is the time to let go of everything that no longer serves me. Sort of handing it over a cleansing energy that's coming through with this. We've got the indication of like the waves and the beach and uh, stripping things away and allowing them to to be released into the water. So this may be about emotions for sure because we're getting all this water uh, depiction here. Um, this is about releasing and allowing yourself to just surrender it over is what they're saying to surrender so there's they're they're showing the word surrender to me so this is more about of course we always have things that we need to release or let go of you know it could be small things or big things but there's some sort of energy that they're giving me with this card for you today group one that is about realizing that you don't have power over it or like you can't control it um, so this could be anything. This could be, you know, you're trying to control somebody else. You're trying to control a certain situation. You're trying to control how something is going to turn out or an outcome to something. Wherever it is that you realize, and that's the key, is realizing that you do not have control over it, especially if it's been affecting your emotional body, uh, uh, making your emotions like go up and down or waves of emotion happening. Um, they're telling you that right now, right now is the time to let go of it, to allow it to re be released, to allow it to be transmuted and to surrender it over. Um, it's no longer serving you and maybe it did in the past and that's okay. You can thank it for what it's given you and still release it over, uh, but they're clearly guiding you to let go of it now because it's it just feels like it's causing unneeded distress and there's nothing that you can do about it, that it really is out of your control and we need to recognize that so that we can release it. Let's see what is connected here. Mm, the Nine of Wands. Again, this card in this uh, grouping here this, uh, this week. Mm. 
it, it seems to me that you've been carrying this. To get this connected to a letting go card, it means you've been carrying the weight of all of these wands and you've made it to a place where uh, you've got a little bit longer to go, that there's some resilience energy that you're needing to tap into and that as you release this or as you allow yourself to surrender it over, you're going to reach a point, which would be the card that comes after this, right? right? The 10, you'll reach a point where you can actually feel that the burden is released from you. So I will say, with this card combination, you may know what I'm talking about, but maybe you're not quite ready to release it. Um, and you have this like resiliency about you, but you know in your gut that you need to release it. You know your intuition is guiding you. You know your heart is telling you it's time to surrender this over, especially if you do not have control over it. A nine of wands is like, what do you have the power over so that you can be resilient and persevere? And then as I said, this card wants to move to a 10, which is a very conclusive energy. And in particular, a 10 of wands is about about releasing burden as well. So we're almost ready to release it. If you do choose to start um, the thought process around surrendering it over or letting it go, uh, or the actual act of doing that, so ritual around it or really putting a practice into it or your consciousness around it, you may still feel like you're carrying it here for a bit, but as that moves forward, you'll feel the weight of the burden release off of you. So you'll actually feel it. So it may not be immediate is what I'm saying with this card combo. You may start to feel like you, you need to let it go. You're making um, these kind of point, these insight points very clear so you understand that you need to let it go and that you don't have control over it. Uh, but you're either waiting, you're hanging in there, or it doesn't feel like the right time yet. And that's okay. Just putting your consciousness on it and actually acknowledging that it's no longer serving you is going to be very important uh, because they're priming you. They're telling you it's time to release it and it's going to serve you very well. You'll be able to open up your energy because it seems to me that you've been carrying this for quite a while and spirit is saying that, you know, it's time for a bit of a clearing when you're ready to release and surrender. We're here to take that from you so that you can feel relieved and create some space for yourself for the future. So I hope that this serves you for the day. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double reading. If you're listening to this, you have chosen the second card combo here for your message. So we're gonna look at the finding inner peace card here and see what kind of message they're serving up for you. 25, traveling, wonderful. Traveling opens my mind and raises my self-development to new levels. So this card is all about obviously going places. <laughs> this is how they want me to say it, going places. Um, hmm. There'll be a couple of messages here. Maybe you have booked some travel for sure or you're planning on traveling somewhere. If that is the case, then know that that is in full alignment uh, for you. Uh, maybe you're traveling to see somebody or you're taking a short trip all in full alignment. They actually want for you to, whether you're traveling or not like literally, uh, or you're just thinking about traveling or allowing yourself to dream about traveling to a certain space, place, or time, as we have the map here, um, they want you to be very aware of the message of the card, meaning they want your focus on and your thoughts on around the traveling. The intention of the traveling is to open up your mind and, and raise your self-development to new levels. So even if you're just visiting family or you're traveling to a brand new place, whatever it may be, or you're thinking about where it is you'd like to go, um, this card tells you to make sure that you're doing that from a certain frame of mind, to make sure that you're doing it with that open sense of um, insight, right? That you're definitely going to learn something new, that this is an elevation energy. Uh, you might get even just a little nugget from the travel that kind of changes the way you look at somebody or changes the way you look at your own life or yourself or uh, a certain way that you're doing things or a certain part of your life or a certain relationship in your life. It just feels like as you think about traveling or as you go to 
move or travel or as you book something, they want you to make sure to be very intentional about what it is that's going to come of that travel so that you can be open and primed for the insight, the knowledge, the wisdom, uh, the ascension, right? The shift that may happen, especially in your consciousness as you go about that journey. Let's see what's connected to it. Get some more info. Ooh, yes, the Eight of Swords. Okay, I love this. This is like pulling off the veil. You can see she's blindfolded. And the Eight of Swords is a manifestation card. It's very mental, though, the, the block. Swords are about communication, insight, truth, and they're about your mind. Um, so when you get an Eight of Swords, right, the block is the lies and the illusions and the fears that are keeping you stuck or stagnant. Um, here she has a blindfold on, but there's nothing else wrong with her. Nothing is harming her. Nothing is keeping her from traveling in this case, except her own thoughts about it. Or if you are traveling, you may have some old narratives that you're kind of stuck in. Uh, this card can see us placing ourselves in a victim situation or thought process. Um, so fear, illusion, and being in a victim state is the challenge to the eight of swords. If you can tell yourself the truth and keep this kind of mindset, I am going to learn something. I am open to understanding something differently. Again, even if it's a small nugget, it's still a nugget that's going to help you uh, create this frame of reference or frame of mind that's really going to serve you in the future. When you get an eight of swords, it's such a powerful mental self card. You can like free yourself. All she has to do is take off this blindfold and look around and go like, oh, I'm not actually being harmed. Nothing's actually keeping me from walking away from this old narrative or this fear. It was only me. It was all in my mind. And when you do that, that's how you get this open channel for, you know, oh, <laughs> traveling opens my mind. Certainly. If you're being held back from any kind of travel or if you're in a, a negative mindset about traveling, it's all you, they're saying. It's not us. It's you. You have the, the complete ability to free yourself, group two, and really, I think, probably gain some truth or insight about something that's going to serve you, as I said, for the future. So I hope that this serves you for the day. And if you enjoy this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double.